Okay, so now we're getting into multiplying rational expressions where we have some binomials, all right? Now, when we've been talking about rational expressions, one of my uh, common themes that I've always been talking about is simplifying, simplifying, simplifying. We always wanna be able to see when and where or how much we can simplify before we apply any operations or when we're starting to simplify actually the answer. So I see these binomials and I see I have a lot of common terms um, between them. Now remember, when adding and subtracting, we had to add common denominators. For multiplying, we don't. We just need to multiply across. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. However, before I even do that operation, I don't want to multiply all these binomials by each other and then try to simplify. That could create a lot of extra work for me. So what I like to do is simplify first, then apply my operation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do each term. Up here, I know I can factor out a 4, which will leave me with a 4y minus 1. Over here, I can factor out a 5, which will leave me with a 2y minus 1. Times over here, if I factor out a 5, I'm left with a y minus 3. And over here, if I multiply by or factor out a 3, oh, I'm sorry, that's a 2y, right? If I factor out a 3, I'm left with a y minus 3. Hmm, very interesting. So now what we see is I don't even have to multiply everything overall. I can get actually get, get rid of these um, binomials because these divide up to 1. These divide up to 1. So I'm just left with 4 times 5 over 5 times 3. Well, 4 times 5 is going to be 20 over 15. And then we can simplify that, right, dividing by 5 on the top, which equals a positive 4 thirds. And that is going to be our final simplified answer. Thanks.